Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today we're at the Bridgeport Mill. Recently I was making a fixture and I was using this face mill, which is similar to a fly cutter, and it was throwing these little aluminum chips all over the place. So I had this container that cleaning supplies came in, and I held the clear cover up as a little guard. It worked real well, but I had to hold it and my fingers still got hit with chips. So when I finished that project, I wanted to make something better. I know a kid who works at a motorcycle shop and he lets me go through their scrap bin whenever I stop and visit. And this windshield has a slight crack here. I drilled a quarter inch hole at the end of the crack. So when we work with it today, the crack doesn't keep on going. So if you place that there, you get a lot of protection, you can stand behind it, but it keeps falling over. I've seen some people online to use these half inch 13 holes and they mount a piece of plexiglass or Lexa onto it. Well, my windshield's a little too tall for that. And depending on the location of the vise and the location of the knee, that won't work. So I went to my scrap bin and I found a piece of aluminum, angle iron. I rounded the corners I found the center of it and I drilled two holes for these little clamps. This slides over on the T of the vise and then you can position it front to back. Slides on pretty easy and even without tightening these nuts, it's really not going to fall off. Now the little clamps on the bottom, the first ones I made, I just milled it so it would be pretty parallel. And what I found when I slid it on, these got cocked sideways. So I made some new ones and I put a notch on there. So now when you slide it on, it won't get stuck sideways. So I did all of that off camera. I had some aluminum hex stock and I drilled and tapped these for quarter 20 bolts. You don't have to really tighten it a whole lot to make that pretty stiff. So now what I need to do is trim this off above the crack and bolt it to this angle iron. So let's go over to the table saw and take a look how we do that. I'm at the Craftsman table saw here and I have my homemade plywood sled I made a while ago. And to cut this windshield, I made a fixture out of some scrap plywoods, a couple of screws and a wing nut. So if I get the edges parallel and I tighten these wing nuts down to hold this in place, we should be able to cut this pretty straight. I have the blade set to go through the bottom plywood piece and through the windshield, but not uh, into the top piece. With any luck, we should have a nice clean cut. So I marked the edge of the fixture here with the line I want to cut the windshield off at. I line that up with the blade. I clamped a piece of plywood here to keep me parallel to the blade. Now when you use your table saw, like any other power equipment, you should wear eye protection and hearing protection. And that's what I have on. It's going to get loud, so I'm going to turn on the saw and we'll cut this. So I cut it right above that crack. Take it out of a fixture and see what we got. A nice uh, even cut, not even a burr on there. Just got to cut a couple holes here to mount it to the piece of aluminum angle I have. 
and then I think this project will be done. I'll you know, take this over to belt sander and just break these corners here. I don't like sharp objects because I always end up getting poked by them. So back to the mill. Earlier I mentioned I drilled a hole and I centered this piece of angle. And that was in case I wanted to drill more holes in here, I could find the center. But I used it to line up the windshield. I have one of these rulers, and this is called a center finding ruler. It goes zero in the middle, and it goes one, one, two, two, all the way out to the end. So I laid it on the windshield. I got it even, like 11 inches. I marked a little red line here. I eyeballed that to the hole. That's, I know it's on the center. I clamped it down, drilled for quarter 20 screws, put two screws in there. Let's see how it works. I can slide it on, I can leave it. It's not gonna fall off. I can push it far forward. I can push it back. I can stand behind it. This will give me a lot more protection than this plastic cover I had. I can see through it a little better. I don't have to hold on to it. So I think it's a great improvement. If you don't have one of these center finding rulers, I really find it handy for layout, for finding centers and laying out different hole patterns. I would get yourself one. Now I was looking on the internet and this was my motivation. I just Googled Bridgeport Mill accessories. And like I said, this clamps to the vise. And I, I like the idea, but I thought I could make it a little better. And I felt I did. Now the only problem with this is, how do you store this? You know, it's gonna be in a way, you don't want it to fall on the floor, you don't want it to get dirty. So I thought, well, if you can hang it upside down, these are natural little clips there. So right behind my mill, on the wall, I have all my bottles of fluids. Whey lube, oil, spindle oil. Real close to the mill. I took a couple plywood scraps, screwed it to the bottom, and now it hangs on there out of the way. When I need it, a few steps away, so the whole project costed really nothing. I had all the materials in my scrap bin, but if you had to buy a piece of aluminum angle, you know, it cost you a couple dollars, a few screws. You go to the hardware store, get a piece of plexiglass or Lexon. I like Lexon because it's easier to work with and plexiglass will shatter real easily. Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends.